This is Melvis. And I cook the best damn food in Africa. This morning, I woke up at my bro Patrick's house, hungry. I told him that I want to try the best food in town, which is Libreville Gabon. So he took me straight to Melvis. Oh man, everybody knows this place, man. It's just the best on the neighborhood. Let's just say that I hit the jackpot. Oh yeah, this is local as it gets, man. Cooking outside. Mommy! Hi! Mommy's here. Hello. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Sam here. How he's, are you? He's my son. Oh, he's your son. <laughs> I guess he's that. my brother, so you're my mother. <laughs> yeah, but you, you are still 10 years old. No, you are still, you are yeah. still a baby. I change some way. Because you are he's black and you're white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I talk to you? Um, I make videos every day on Facebook and YouTube, just like travel videos, and he told me that you make the best local food. Yeah. So, can I please... Show it. You're free to do that. Are you sure? As she already told you, you cannot find tastier African food than from her two hands. Oh, la la. Good. Mm. I have to put a little bit of salt inside. Where are you from originally? I'm from Cameroon. And how many years have you been living here? Um, I've been almost 20 years. I was selling tomatoes in the market. Do you cook the best food in the city? I cook the best food in the city. Right in my mother's home, I know I'll be a great cook. <laughs> Why my father invented my mom? I know I'm going to be a great cook. I, I can say I love the food. I love it very well. <laughs> Her shop is tucked away in a neighborhood parking lot. It's three by three meters big. All right, I'm standing in the corner of the restaurant so you can see the size of it. One little room and covered in aluminum walls. Look at the fan. Does that even work? With a half outdoor, half indoor kitchen. The dishes are washed outside. This is what you would call street food at its core. Just so you guys know how challenging it is to film this, it's pouring rain outside. It's raining. It's raining. But it's on there, I'll look at you. And I'm hanging my camera outside to get the shot inside. Melvis's place doesn't have a name. Locals just know it because of her shining personality. If you couldn't already tell, Melvis is the boss around here. Whatever she says goes. Stop the nice place! You're disturbing me here! Look up the word sassy in the dictionary and you will find a picture of Melvis. She's absolutely hilarious. Cause when I come off, I don't cook Chelsea Monitor. Where are they go? What are they go? Eh? Shut up! That's English. That's pigeon. Just shut up. In pigeon, just shut up. <laughs> shut up. I like everything. Ooh, I spicy. Pepper. Yeah, I like pepper. Pepper? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I want answer. I said, no, there's no answer. Answer, I said, no, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't tap water. Look at water here. Yeah. That's not English. You drink well water. I, I, I need a bottle of water. Uh, no. It, I'm going to die. This is not America. This is not England. This is Africa. I know, but my stomach is American. It's not African but stomach. But you are going to be used to it. Because I'm going to get sick. No, if you get sick. They'll give you enema, you know? <laughs> They'll pop you on <laughs> they will shit, you know? <laughs> she's, she's the she's, best clown you ever she's around. Perfect. And it's always packed tightly with people feasting on four dishes only. Mmm, very good. A goosey soup, white beans with tomatoes, white rice, white beans, gari, and fufu. Okay, it's eating time now. This is about as African as it gets. Yeah, I'll wash my hand. I do like this. Make a ball. Yeah. Very good. This is kind of like Ugali in East Africa, but there they make it out of corn, here they make it out of cassava. You just take it with your hands, roll it like, yeah. like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Mmm. But you have this gadi, which is really soft and mushy, kind of like mashed potato texture. And then you got this thing, which is really good, bursting with flavor, spicy, a little bit fishy, vegetable-y, and mixed together in your mouth, it's super tasty. Now this one, do you eat with a spoon, like this? Yeah, and then you can mix it, then you mix it. Mix it around. Kind of like a version of tomato soup. Also really spicy. I'm gonna try the cow skin. Yeah, yeah, I need to cut it, it's really blubbery. Hard to chew. It's really, really strong and thick. A huge part about traveling is trying new foods, and it doesn't get any better than Melvis's kitchen. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. 
I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.